We recently learned that producer Adi Shankar has been working on an animated adaptation of the Castlevania video game series for Netflix. And now, thanks to a report from Dave Trembor at Collider.com, that might not be the only animated offering Shankar has up his sleeve. The producer shared an update on a possible Dread sequel, hinting that it's going to happen one way or another, even if it's not live action. If anyone is still wondering, there's no update on a Dread sequel, but I'm going to make it happen at some point. It may not be live action, but it's going to happen at some point. There will be more Judge Dread at some point. Dennis, if a Dread sequel does happen, would you buy or sell an animated one? I just don't see it happening. Um, I I buy it just to see it because I checked out the, the animated web series that Eddie Shankar produced, and it's definitely a different tone than Dread, the live action film that we just saw with Carl Urban. It kind of has more of a darker satirical tone to it while still being very violent. But it almost sounds like from his quotes that it's just more of, we can't get this done, so this is kind of what I'll do instead versus yeah. this is what he actually wants to do. I think if, if, if he got his first choice, he'd make the live action Dread sequel. Yeah. So, uh, Broca? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I would rather do a live action sequel myself personally, but there might be something to explore here if they did an animated series. They could go dark, they could play, like, Justice, if you've seen Justice League Dark, even properties like DC can go really dark, so why not have something like Judge Dredd where you don't have any limits and you can animate it as you see fit and really uh, uh, bring to life the atmosphere and the vibe of those uh, Dredd comics. And so, for me, I, I would be open to that. I personally love that movie so damn much, and the fact that, like, what, uh, what uh, Carl Urban says 750,000 copies of that film were, were bought in the first week of its release on DVD. That tells you that it has an audience, that people loved it, and that he was probably right, that it was marketed incorrectly. But the people that went to see it, especially in 3D, it was fantastic. And so, it, to me, I consider it one of the top 20, top 15 superhero films ever, technically a superhero film with Judge Dredd. Um, so, to me, I'm happy that they're, this is even in the conversation, that they're going to have some version of this. You know, Dennis, I watched Dredd, and I just said, duh, the whole time. I mean, it, was, it was pretty late out there. Did you know? I, so, I, that's a Stallone one, I think you're thinking the about. The Stallone and the Rob Schneider one is an all-time classic. I have the poster in my <laughs> office. As far as the new Dredd, I didn't get on board as much as everybody else did. I was not a fan of it. Now, maybe I need to just go revisit it and check it out again. That could be on me. Either way, I would buy an animated version of this. I think it'd be fun if you had to do it that way, but mm. it's clearly the preference I think with the fans of Dread is they want to see another live action version but can we talk about the coolest part of this story is the Castlevania Netflix oh, series yeah. <laughs> it's going to be monumentally awesome I'm sure Josh and the rest of the TV talk crew will talk about that as yeah. well and he also what was the other thing that oh he wants to do another because he Eddie Shankar was behind the, the whole Power Rangers yeah. Um, yeah. fan film the kind of yeah. like R rated one I, right. I think that. he's looking to do maybe an animated version of that as well. Wow. Even though he doesn't have the rights yeah, to that. Yeah, I'd be <laughs> curious to see if that'll ever pan uh, Perry, out. Probably are you, not. Perry, what do you think about this animated Dread film? Ellis, I think you should give Dread another shot because I saw that when they premiered it or uh, whatever level of premiere it was at Comic-Con, whatever year that was, and I didn't like it. And I wrote up a negative review about it. Mm. And if I could go online and erase that from existence, I would because <laughs> since I have watched it again and again and again and again and again, and that's why even though I have absolutely nothing against the idea of an animated Dread movie because I just want more Dread, yeah. I'm so disappointed they're not going to make Dread 2. I want that movie so badly with the with with Carl Urban in it. It it's just how it was meant to be. Mm -hmm. Like the amount of detail in that movie that I missed the first time around disturbs me. Mm -hmm. And it was a midnight screening. I was tired. It was the first <laughs> night of Comic-Con, but no excuses. You should really rewatch it though. Do you know that that we actually held that screening? Did you really? Yeah, that was oh, back when funny. we were with AMC. It was uh, Wow. Yeah. I think that might have been my first Comic-Con ever. It was uh -huh. like 2000 13, right? No. Um, it was in 2010. I was going to say 10. I don't think Dread was. I'm yeah, going 11. Was. 11 or 12. I can't, I okay. can't remember. Well, no, I think I it's 12. I think it's 12. That's amazing. Yeah, okay. but yeah, yeah. We, we actually held that screening. With, and uh, and Lily Headley's oh, fantastic right. in that. It mm -hmm. came out yeah. 2012. Yeah. 